You are watching With a Cup of Tea, a production of This House of Books, an independent bookstore cooperative and tea shop in downtown Billings. Now, here's our show. Greetings, I'm Corby Skinner, director of The Writer's Voice here in Billings, Montana, and we're delighted to be at This House of Books with Jamie Harrison. And I think many of you may know her, well, a lot of people know her murder mystery books that were all set in Livingston. And a couple of years ago, her novel came out, The Widow Nash, which was set in Butte. It was a finalist for the High Plains Book Award. And with the pandemic, we, well, Jamie had to postpone her latest novel almost a year. Well, it's January, and the book is out now. It is called The Center of Everything. It takes place in Livingston, Montana. And welcome, Jamie. Thank you for having me. It's good to be here. So this is very much close to home in terms of a story. Yes, it is. Um, set in Livingston. I, part of Widow Nash was set there, too. Um, on the railroad part of it. On the railroad it. part of it, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I put it in my hometown. Um, it's about a woman who's named Polly who's in her 40s, and it's set during a week in the summer um, as a body, as a person has gone missing, and the river's being searched. So. We have had a conversation just recently for my radio program, and the two things that I think are particularly interesting is Livingston on the 4th of July. I think there's even songs about Livingston and parties Indeed. in Livingston <laughs> and gathering in Livingston. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of people, a lot of characters in it. Um, it's the middle of summer, but then the river is a big part of the story too. Sure. And is it the first paragraph we sent something's gone wrong? I think pretty much. Let me, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> that helicopter. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. I, um, yes. The first real scene is Polly leaving her house and a helicopter's flying overhead. And I think that I really. If you live in Livingston, the river does sort of pace your life, and we all know that sound because somebody almost always drowns over the course of a summer. Mm -hmm. The other interesting thing about Polly, she's the narrator. We know a lot about her life as a young girl mm -hmm. on Long Island, but she's had a serious um, bike accident. Yeah, she's had a brain injury. She's had a brain injury, so she moves back and forth in time and I wasn't, when I was reading the book, I wasn't sure if I trusted her memory or not. Well, I think she doesn't trust her memory, and that's, it's, she's shaken up badly. She's not sure um, if her memories are real or not, and the book essentially is delving into whether they were or not. Um, part of the book is set when she's eight, when certain bad things happen, and, and then later in her 20s, and then again when she's 40. Mm -hmm. I will also say that when I read the book, it was in the reader's form, so waiting for the last little bits of edit, but I noticed the new book has a beautiful little family tree mm -hmm. on page two because there are a lot of characters. Oh, no more than <laughs> the average Russian novel. You know, there were a few. There were a few, and I think family trees are great. I have always sort of enjoy seeing those. Um, Parts of it are fairly spare, too, but yeah, part of the thing that summer is uh, there's a family reunion and a celebration of a birthday for a 90-year-old great aunt, and uh, so I have a cast of at least a dozen. How's that? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the fact that the story develops and what we call, I don't know, it's not the surprise ending, but the story revealed is something that she discovers as a part of memory and a part of, do you think the incidents make that become more vibrant? I mean, does it trigger her memory, I guess? I think certain things echo. There was another drowning in 1968 and she gradually begins to remember it and sort it out. And she's, this the course of this week in Livingston, she is, She's cooking for her family. Her family is arguing. Things come up. 
she begins to sort of doubt the official rendition of what happened so much earlier. Her kids are about the same age as she was back then. That makes her think of it. Everything becomes kind of fluid, and she can't really count on what is true. So the novel is the center of everything. It's just recently released. I know we have signed copies of it here at this House of Books, along with Jamie's uh, first novel, The Widow Nash. Right. And this it, is linked to The Widow Nash. There, there, is, there is a funny little tie there. There is a tie, yes. yes. So thank you for being with us. Thanks for having me. This has been a production of This House of Books. If you'd like to be a part of the cooperative, please visit thishouseofbooks.com slash get involved.